The movie of this week is Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Or Raccoon City. Raccoon City? Raccoon City. Spider-Man. Spider-Man CPA. (laughs) Spider-Man. Spider-Man, not Spider-Man CPA. Like it's Raccoon City, not Raccoon City. If you plan on watching this, if you want to avoid spoilers, let me give you, let me quote the greatest audio creator on YouTube. You are dismissed. Leave. Go away. That was my Curtis Judd impression. Leave. Go away. That's what he tells me whenever I show up at his house. Leave. Go away. You're not welcome here. Kind of rude, but I I get it. Anyway, (laughs) what am I talking about? Okay, my thoughts on Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. I thought it was a very tolerable movie. I had a good time watching it. It is 100% fan service. I don't know why fan service is viewed as a bad thing. It's a movie about a video game. That's clearly going to be a movie made for fans of the video game. So why would you want a movie about a video game not being fan service? Wouldn't you want the movie to be made for the fans? It's 100% fan service, and I enjoyed the heck out of it. I had no issue with that. I do think this is a much more accurate rendition of Resident Evil based on the video games compared to the Mila Jovovich universe. And this film does have its flaws, which I will discuss. But if this is the route they're going, if they're going to make more films in this universe using these characters, using these actors, using this timeline, whatever it is, I will absolutely see them because I do think they are on the right path. As far as the film as a whole, I like the time setting. It is set in the time of the video games, late 90s in Raccoon City. I'm never going to get tired of saying that. Raccoon, Raccoon, I've never said it, Raccoon. Raccoon City. And there is a Palm Pilot in this movie. There is a Palm Pilot. When's the last time you've seen a Palm Pilot in a movie? I can't recall last time I've seen one. And I like that they said it in the late 90s and they don't play up the technology to be this crazy military grade, all sterile, clean, whatever. It's like the early 2000s. This is much grimier feeling, much more realistic. Realistic might be the wrong word, but much more grimy and and dirty and visceral might be the right word, which I enjoyed a lot more than the early 2000s ones, which I did like, but this is a completely different feel. But the issue that I have with this is the fact that it seems as though they combined Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2, the video game stories, into this one film. It's not inherently an issue, but that leads to there being way too many characters introduced way too quickly, and there's way too many storylines going on, and we don't get to know or care about any of the characters. I don't care about anybody in this movie. I wanted to, but I don't. I think this would have been better broken up into a two or three part film because there's so much going on and it's, it all seems so glossed over. So top levels, there's very little focus going on. You do get a little bit with Claire Redfield, but not enough to really care about her. And the reason that's an issue, it wouldn't be a problem if I didn't know about the, the movie really, or know about the video game lore. But there are so many interesting characters in this movie, in this universe, that you want them to actually go in with a magnifying glass and explore each of them, understand their motivations, as opposed to have one of the main driving characters of the entire story be on screen for maybe two minutes. That's it. The motivate. Oh, it was just for money. Oh, cool. Thanks for all that amazing exp. Oh, it was just for the money? Well, how about we learn a little bit more about his backstory? Why was he into the money? Okay, it's a poor town. Really? That's going to lead somebody? Yeah, I don't buy it. So I think that's the main drawback. The char- There's too many characters, too many storylines, and they tried to do too much in this film. They needed to break it up, in my opinion. But like I said, I still enjoyed the heck out of it because I'm a Resident Evil fan. 
if they make more films in this universe, I will watch them because this is a good start. I won't say great start. A good start has its flaws, but still a fun watch.